twice already on stream. Do you know what needs to happen for AC to win? Uh, he needs to blow he him needs up. He needs to pick hero. He needs to, he needs to be hero? the hero. He needs to. Why? Peach is a princess. <laughs> yeah. And that's how Mario was able to beat him earlier? Well, no. <laughs> no. Because no, well, no, he's like no, the hero no, no. in no, that he, game. He is, in fact, a plumber. <laughs> and, and that he's is He's got a lot of won. jobs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure Mario probably spends a lot of time writing his resume because he doesn't know what he wants to put on there. Yeah, he's got a resume longer than Samuel L. Jackson, for sure. Samuel L. Jackson's resume long? All right, I want you to look up how many movies that man has been it's in. It's just movies, though. Mario's been in... He, he can drive... You get to write every movie on your resume. <laughs> his movie... His acting resume. <laughs> what? All right. All right. Anyways. Yeah, but can he golf? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, retreating to the skies, and Raza Kona is trying to set the trap. With 126%, you know Raza's going to have a few options at his disposal to get rid of the stock. As you can see, AC setting up that C4 on the platform, making it very difficult for a Raza to approach. It almost acts like a wall. Yeah, he'll have to ooh. cover so much space. Yeah, you got to bait it out. Back air, okay. Um, yeah, so Raza won the last game, but AC is showing some adaption here. He kills himself, but you know, at that point, it's probably worth it. Even just getting that 10%, just a little bit of a more of a lead. I mean, this is kind of the upside about playing um, in winners or losers semis is that if you make it to losers semis, you're essentially playing all of your matches on stream which means you're just going to continue whatever momentum you have. So we saw you know, AC take a very convincing win over YMCA, and now he's just continuing that momentum here in losers finals against Razo, who had previously TO'd him earlier in the bracket. Right, but uh, we're, we're in losers finals. Losers, I thought we were in losers finals. We are in losers finals. We are in losers finals. But yeah, so, I mean, Razo's still got a lot of games to work with. He's got time to warm back up. And he's already showing that he's getting there right now as mm -hmm. he takes out that stock. Might just, is, is it going to be too late for game one? That's the question. You can see another trade going in AC's favor. 120%, just slowly inching closer to that up tilt percent. She's already there, right? Oof. Oh, doesn't matter. She's definitely well, in grenade launcher percent. Well, he could up tilt her, or he could take out a rocket propelled grenade launcher and shoot her with it. Uh, one option is clearly better than the other. I mean, sometimes you gotta secure that kill. Maybe the up tilt enough, but that F smash to the F smash definitely enough. I, th I think AC's been playing long enough that he knows whether that's going to kill. I'm sure he's played against Razo a, a lot, too. I'm, what I'm really surprised is that we didn't see, like, some stylish kill after the shield break. Like, like I don't know. Like, sticky grenade, back throw into C4. Yeah. So, just a little something like that. A little style for the stream. But nope. No style needed. Just want to take that win. Take your first W. Move on to the next game. St uh, style points, they might not get you the win, but they'll, they'll get you the fans, that's for sure. Yeah, and but fans don't win you tournaments. And that, and that's, <laughs> in, in that is, in a way, is a win of its own. Um, that's true. Unless they, like, you know, do your bidding and, like, inhibit your competition in some way. I mean, that's just horrible, though. I would never support oh, it. Oh, did you see that trap? That was so cool. <laughs> he threw up the turnip into the... Just catching that air dodge. Yeah, he Z-dropped the, the turnip, falling alongside AC. So even though he air dodged, it was still going to hit him. Very smart from Razo. All right, some ledge traps coming in from AC, but Razo, stay patient. 
it's one of the. I, I mean, so Snake doesn't have a lot to chase you on the edge there. So most times, if you wait out what he's doing, mm -hmm. you know, you can get back. Maybe not on scale, but you're probably not going to get killed. Yeah, yeah, down throw into up tilt. Raza was at the appropriate percent. And AC was just pressuring him with grenades to uh, you know, keep him in shield, make him feel safe. Can't feel safe in this game. This is a fighting game, dude. Do the grenades ever have hit stun at any percent? No. No, they're always... Uh, oh, it just bounce off. Bounce off. Okay. That would be crazy. The grenades just start comboing call call off of them. Especially if it had like minimal hit stun. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was smart. AC is so good at landing that, that C4 on his opponents. Getting another roll read. Razo's getting a little predictable and AC has uh, has the reads. Yeah. He's putting on some damage right now. It's not looking good for Razo this game. Uh, like when you it's almost like when you play Shulk against Shulk. He he's like he lives to like two hundred in most dogs. So you have to put in so much extra work. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier, it's just hard to get those early kills on Snake uh, with Peach because uh, most of his recoveries are going to be pretty safe. That's true, but you can always expect uh, Snake to recover high, so it does give you a little bit of time to set up for, you know, try and trap the landing. It's just you have to worry about falling grenades and and uh, other projectiles. Okay, that was... I, I really respect what Razo was trying to go there with the drag down there into... Uh, sorry, the... the Dare into drive down air into back air, but that didn't quite work out. Mm, uh, bring a couple managed, grenades. He still managed to get some of these combos and make this a much closer game. Okay, lots of rolls coming out. And a down throw into there, and you can see another high recovery coming from AC. What's the falling grenades going to be? There it is. There's one of them. Another Nikita applying pressure to Razo at the ledge. Oh no, his own C4 timed out! Oh my god. That's so what unfortunate for I see. That. So, for those who don't know, the C4 actually has a timer. I believe it's 30 seconds. Um, and after the 30 seconds, regardless if a Snake wants it to or not, it will explode. <laughs> And that's just what Man. happened. That sucks. Yeah, so I, I Talk think... Talk about RNG. That's... <laughs> well, I to guess some that's degree, I think sn uh, snake players uh, prey on you uh, just getting so focused on the neutral that maybe you miss a C4 or a grenade or somewhere that leads into something. So that in a, in a rare reversal on a very good snake player, we're seeing that happen to him instead. And now we're seeing a Meta Knight come out. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, the, uh, this was a matchup that was very difficult for Peach and Smash 4. Uh, I don't believe it's as difficult here. Well, Meta Knight still has his ladders. They're just not as easy to get anymore. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so Peach being so floaty, she's more susceptible to these combos. Yeah, but they kind of kind of nerfed those combos uh, pretty hard. Yeah. So it's still diff you can still get it, it's just more difficult. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what tools uh, AC is going to exploit to take stocks from Razo. Yeah, I'm wondering what prompted this switch. Because it seemed like uh, that last game was close, and uh, he probably felt that uh, Razo was adapting very well to his snake. I mean, even in that last that game too, it was. It was getting a lot closer than uh, probably probably uh, is comfortable for AC. Oh, he, he wanted to win uh, more, I guess. And it, he's taking the lead here with this this game. Um, living to snake percent here with Meta Knight. And uh, yeah, so down throw to Uppy, still a thing. 
but uh, not gonna kill. Another up B. Just mostly for damage here. Yeah, and 90%, you know, he's just gonna spam these F smashes. And that's really good bait, too, because most people will get caught up seeing the F smash. You know, traditionally, F smash uh, is a, a laggier move, so if some, you see someone throw it out, you can typically punish, but not isn't so much the case here in this situation. Well, and they reduce the lag so much uh, for a lot of moves in this game, mm -hmm. so uh, I find myself getting punished a lot for trying to punish moves that don't have as much lag as I thought. Uh, but Meta Knight's F Smash has always been that way. Exactly. Okay, another up air. Just slowly attacking damage, but we do see a, le a stock lead for AC. Another dash attack into the ladder combo. Ooh. Yeah, he's looking good with his Meta Knight. Yeah, Razo able to fall out of that ladder combo, though, and he's going to keep himself in the game. All right, rapid jab. Uh, Tomahawk grab. And catch the spot dodge there. All right. F throw. Razo sort of taking control of this game, but he needs to do a lot to make this even, and uh, that that's a great start. Yeah, just sometimes it all it comes down to is just ledge trapping, trapping your opponent over and over. Yeah, it's, it's still a very important part of this game. I think some some characters are definitely better at it than others, but uh, you know you can still do a lot of damage if you're reading the right kind of options from your opponent. And, uh, maybe anticipating setting up some traps. Or just, you know, throwing your opponent back out there and making them have to go through that whole process of picking option again is, is surprisingly mentally taxing, <laughs> I find. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh god, what do I have to pick? I have to do something that my opponent's not expecting. And, and then you pick wrong, they just throw you back out again. Okay, and they're out of shield, and that's going to put Razo off stage. Uh, I'm starting to see why AC picked uh, Meta Knight. More for the edge guarding tools to challenge Razo off stage. Okay, nice uh, from there, but I guess Meta Knight's down smash not strong enough to get much off of. Well, especially across stage, but and a whiffed up B. Yeah, so... Uh, Razo's switching the pan there, which hits your opponent up. Um, and yeah, so if you hold F smash and hold up, then the pan there, uh, it's not bad. It's back is directly up. And because Meta Knight is a floaty character, that killed him really early. And he also had a good amount of time to charge it. That too. That too. And, and he had some rage. Almost max rage at 120. Mm -hmm. So switching back to Snake, the Meta Knight character, the Meta Knight switch was working out pretty well. Just good adaptation from Razo at the end. Plus a very critical error on AC's part. You can say that again, yeah. But uh, maybe uh, Razo will need to adapt all over again. We definitely saw, I mean, these players have already played before and, and Razo had an edge. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this sort of shift back into AC's favor. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised either, but at the same time, you know, when these two played earlier in the day, uh, it was 2-0 in Raza's favor. And it looks like, you know, Raza has been oh, making those adjustments. Four. That's what we talked about. Where is it? You don't know. Could be anywhere. Yeah, down smash definitely not going to take the stock of this percent, but it will give Raza some breathing room and some time to set up. And that shield is small. Yeah, luckily for Raza, shield recovers a lot of health, or recovers health very quickly. Yeah, I think. I mean, shield, small shields fine, maybe you can pressure your opponent, but what's really important is when you get those shield breaks. That's what you want. And so, Razo coming within a percentile of it, but not quite getting it. Quite just put on some big damage this combo. Almost Good 60%. Weave. Good weave in and out. Giving AC uh, the feeling of threat. So he pushed uh, the attack button and then just weaved right back in once the attack was over and getting another punish. That's great looking coming out from Razo. A lot of projectiles coming out from both players. 
Okay, dash, uh, dash attack falls right in front of AC, but he's not ready to punish it. Ooh, even using the turn up to really interrupt the approach from, from AC, making so that his recovery isn't as safe as he would have planned. That's right. And fair taking it out, yeah, taking him out. 129%. Don't believe we're in down tilt, up tilt range yet. Or oh, that's down throw up so tilt. much damage. Oh, those turn up combos. Plaza could just click, clear it out right now. He's got the rage, he's got lots of damage on him. Okay, and uh, AC may be expecting that. Oh, but still living. Gonna able, be able to weave around the side B and just escape back to the stage. For, spacing forward airs on shield. Move is so strong, but an F tilt will clean up that stock and get rid of all that rage that was a threat. Spot dodge. Okay, down tilt for up air. Not gonna kill, but that will not. Also, Russell's gonna just wait there again though and get some more damage. He's got the winky face one, slightly more damage, but no back air is gonna take it out instead. Yeah, the reason that up that second up air didn't kill is because he a Razo actually had to fast fall down to avoid hitting the grenade. <laughs> Which I completely understand. You don't want to get reversal that high up in the air. You never know when uh, a couple of grenades plus an up air will just send you off the top. And we have Razo leaving the main streaming station. Where is he going? He has another match. He's not done yet. It's time for a break, I guess. Yeah, break. So, speaking of breaks, I hope y'all are entering Switch Fest because I'm going to be there. And I want to see everyone. Everyone. Everyone in the chat just should uh, register for Switch Fest. Yeah, it'll be cool. If you don't like Smash, I don't really know why you're here because this is purely a Smash event. But there's plenty of other games to play as well, I think. There's going to be Splatoon. There's going to be Mar Mario Party. I That's think. right, yeah. Mario Party. I've been such a huge advocate for Mario Party. Yeah. I want to do, like, I'm hoping, oh, I want to I want to stream the last game of Mario Party. So, like, top four, yeah. essentially. Oh, you, you want to commentate it? And I want to commentate yeah, it okay. because I know so much about Mario Party. Oh, you're like, and I hope, you got the I info. hope so bad that it, it comes like,